So maybe you've heard about the apocryphal books of the Bible, or some say the secret lost hidden books of the Bible. So today we want to ask the question, why are these books not found in every Bible that we have? Stick around, we're going to get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. and I'm giving you truth for life. Thanks for watching again today. And if you like my channel and enjoy these videos, I want you to subscribe. And for every person that does, I'm gonna send you my new ebook, 40 Days to Overwhelming Joy, absolutely free. So today we wanna talk about the apocryphal books of the Bible, or as some call them, the secret hidden books of the Bible, and ask the question, why are they not included in all of the versions of the Bible that we have today? So if you were to get a Roman Catholic Bible, you would see all of the Old Testament apocryphal books included in there, but we don't have them in all of the Protestant Bibles that are available in this generation. Why is it that we don't consider the apocryphal books part of the canon of scripture in this generation as Protestant Christians? Well, today I'm going to give you five reasons why the hidden books of the Bible are not books of the Bible at all. They're just writings from early members of the church. So the first reason that the Old Testament apocrypha is not considered canon or scripture is is because the Hebrew canon of scripture for the Old Testament was already set for thousands of years with the law and the prophets and the poetry, and the Jews for thousands of years never included any of the apocryphal books as part of what they considered to be divinely inspired scripture. In fact, Josephus the historian limited the Old Testament canon to the 39 books that we now have in our Protestant Bible. Number two, we have no evidence whatsoever that Jesus or any of the apostles considered the Old Testament apocryphal books to be scripture or canon at any given time throughout the early church or before. In fact, New Testament writers refer and quote from almost every single Old Testament book and not once do they quote from any apocryphal book of the Old Testament. Number three, the Old Testament apocryphal books were not considered scripture by any of the early writers like Joseph. Josephus, Origen, Philo, the Council of Jamnia in AD 90, none of these considered the Old Testament apocryphal books to be canon or to be divinely inspired scripture. In fact, it was Jerome who was compiling and creating the Latin Vulgate version of the Bible, which is where the Roman Catholic Bible came from. And even Jerome did not consider the Old Testament apocryphal books to be canon or scripture, but he was overruled by others that were working with them. And ultimately they were included, which is one of the reasons that they're now included in the Roman Catholic Bible today. Number four, the historical and the geographical and chronological errors found in the Old Testament apocryphal books do not lend themselves to divine inspiration. If something is scripture, if something is given from God, then God who is perfect is not going to make any mistakes with geography, timeline, or any other issue. And those mistakes and inconsistencies found in the Old Testament apocrypha are one of the main reasons they're not considered to be canon or divinely inspired scripture. Finally, number five, I'll talk quickly about the New Testament apocryphal books, which are much easier to eliminate from canon or divinely inspired scripture because they range from the weird to completely insane when you read through the stories that are found in the New Testament apocrypha. You'll see things like in the Acts of John, John scolding bedbugs at an inn and telling them to behave themselves. You'll see things like Paul baptizing a lion and the lion and later saving his life inside of a Colosseum. There's a story from the Gospel of Thomas where Jesus says that women are not worthy of life. So he's going to take the woman along with him and turn her into a man so that she'll be worthy of life. There's all kinds of things that are found in the New Testament apocryphal books that are just not scriptural. And not only that, they're extremely weird. Many of these books were not found until hundreds of years uh, later. For example, the uh, Gospel of Thomas wasn't found till somewhere around 450 AD, meaning it could be written by literally anybody. And so because scripture is divinely inspired, there are very specific criteria about what should be in the Bible and what shouldn't. And neither the Old nor the New Testament apocryphal books are divinely inspired, and that is why they're not included in today's modern Protestant Bibles. Not only are these books not inspired by God, they 
are not the lost and secret books of the Bible. They're simply books that were written by early writers at the time scriptures were written, but they were not inspired by God, and so therefore they're not scripture. Hey guys, thanks for watching again today. I really appreciate it. And listen, I know the video was a little bit more in depth today, but if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. And don't forget, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next week. Thank you.